Out with the old. And in with the new. Hello everyone, it's Oscar at the Virtual Factula, and in this video I'd like to look at the Vitis Throat Guard and after some pretty rigorous testing I can tell you what I think about it. A while ago Vitis got in touch with me and asked me whether I wanted to test their new throat guard and curious as I am, of course I said yes. So how did it go? Let's find out. The light version is a pretty subtle, almost minimalistic type of throat guard, very similar to the Arkham Gorgets. Comparing it with the soft throat guards that are still being sold by PBT and All-Star, uh, it just covers the throat a bit better. And when comparing it with the Ulsa one that I have from All-Star, I really like the fact that it has a blade catcher here and that the plating means that it just follows the shape of the human neck a lot better. It comes off and then goes on relatively easily and then it just stays there without need for any sort of Velcro fasteners that can wear out down the line, so that's very nice. The heavy version that I just put on I like even better because it just has an extra plate and it means it covers the neck even more. But this version also comes with a couple of extra goodies. There's for instance the nape of the neck protector which goes on in the back here. And of course there's also the clavicle protector here which goes on in front and is then fastened with a drawstring at the back. Now, aesthetically pleasing, but how comfortable is it? Surprisingly so, I would say. As I said, I really like the heavier version. Despite the fact that it fully covers the throat, I don't feel I'm hindered in moving my head in the directions it should be able to move. Once you've gotten the hang of it, the whole system is pretty easy to put on, and because of the way the plates of the whole assembly overlap, it doesn't get in the way while fencing despite the fact that it first looked to me like it would. Comfort is definitely good as far as I'm concerned. So what about protection? Of course the first and most important job of the throat guard is to make sure that you don't die if your aspiring partner lands a perfect thrust in your throat. Now, I'm here I'm recording a video, I am not dead, so, so far so good. But to be fair, for years I've used the soft throat guard by uh, All Star and that didn't kill me either. But the fact that this one has a better uh, coverage of the neck, it has a blade catcher and it just stays on of its own accord. And that makes me feel a little bit more at ease about potential freak accidents, to be honest. I didn't find myself needing the clavicle protection all that much, uh, but without false modesty, I can say that I'm reasonably good at this long sort of messer thing. So I don't go and running face first into thrusts anymore. So I didn't really encounter a lot of situations where it would have been very important. That said, I do like using it for coaching situations where my partner gets to thrust me in the same spot repeatedly. Uh, it was nice to have it there. What I have also found though is that the heavy version with a nape of neck protector is very good at making sure that your head isn't moving in directions where it shouldn't. I took a few hard shots during tournament bouts to the mask, um, things that would normally make me a bit worried about concussion, but I found that these hits didn't really rattle me as much as I expected they would. And I suspect quite strongly that has something to do with the fact that if you wear this combination of a heavy throat guard and a nape of the neck protector, uh, your head will not be moving as much in directions where it shouldn't and that might have mitigated some potential concussions. So, is it all perfect? Should you go and talk to Vitis and go and get the whole shebang? Uh, let's talk about durability first. And I'm saying this in the full knowledge that protection for HEMA is of course, uh, it's a consumable and also with the amount of training that I do, wear and tear is going to show up relatively quickly. But I thought it was important to mention, just to inform you and also let the manufacturer know what they could work on. A few minor things came up. The protective foam on the inside of the throat protector is fastened with a couple of small uh, Velcro patches that are glued to the foam. And in my case, they came off due to, well, um, excessive sweating. And personally, I don't mind it that much. I don't really need the foam protector for the lower part uh, for comfort. So it, it's a minor thing, but it did happen. Slightly more of an issue is the fact that the nape of the neck protector has a plastic fastener with these holes that go onto the pegs of your throat guard and these holes tend to wear down over time. Meaning that sometimes after a number of fights uh, the fastener would come loose and it had to be refastened. 
It's not a deal breaker per se, but I do think the design would benefit from a slightly thicker fastener, uh, which would mean that uh, this kind of wear and tear would not take place. Because it is a bit annoying that to have this thing slide down your back of your fencing jacket in the middle of a fight. So, overall verdict. This type of throw protector is a lot better than the soft protectors that are still being sold everywhere. And the ones made by Vitis are really quite nice. I can definitely recommend them. If you want to check out the throat guard, Vitas currently only has a Facebook page, but if they ever do get a website, I'll be sure to link it down in the description of this video. For the rest, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it, and until the next one, cheers.